normally go on hikes that take us on trails and things like that, but today we're gonna do something different. We've taken a lot of trails and different things like that, but today we're gonna do what's called an urban hike, and we're starting out with Malibu. Right behind us is the original Doris Day house, and we're gonna walk all the way up into town. The house now is owned by David Geffen. It's about five lots long. It takes up a massive amount of beach. We're gonna show you guys what it looks like, but we're also gonna show you a bunch of other stuff here in town. So let's get started. big of a deal but see that apartment right there that's the first apartment I lived in Malibu in 1980 Malibu for a very long time and seen lots of changes but we're gonna show you guys some of those most interesting things here in town and otherwise known secret hotspots There is Jeffrey Katzenberg's house. New coffee place opening. Kathy's chomping at the bit for some Joe. It's probably a few weeks out. This area of PCH on the left side, all these houses over here. Billionaire's Beach. This is known as Billionaire's Beach from pretty much where we live all the way up to the pier. It's the largest concentration of wealth per capita in the entire world. This is probably four or five lots. So they're small little beach houses. You know, actually you can get a pretty good deal on if you just wanted to rent. Oh yeah. You could probably rent for about seventy thousand a month. You know, something like that. Pocket change. And this house up here on the hillside, it's not on the water, but this is the house that Kathy and I are thinking of buying. It's probably only two hundred and thirty million dollars, but it's not done yet, so we can't really move in yet. Got a little bit of work to do. It's actually this scary. Typical Malibu dogs, they never react to anything. PC Greens. That's where we go to shop when we want to spend more than we have to. <laughs> right there. Behind me is a really spooky house. And it has been abandoned almost the whole time I lived in Malibu. However, I mean, the, the, when it wasn't abandoned, there was this ancient little man that would sit on the balcony. And after that, it was abandoned. There's some creepy drapes sticking out of the window on the other side. Isn't that weird? snuck through to get a glimpse of the water from this area. It's an apartment complex. It's kind of nice. This is the Zonker Access Way. It's been closed for quite some time, but we used to come down here pretty much daily, take our dog Bandit at the time. It's all closed. I tried to sneak through the crack. You're gonna have to lose a little bit more weight. So we can 
build a, build a pedestal, and then my mermaid could sit on that. This place right here was La Salsa. We really miss our La Salsa. We came here all the time and then it closed. Yeah, but before La Salsa, it was a donut and ice cream shop. And I used to get a co coffee milkshake. Coffee? Oh, that's good. That was back in the 70s. And this, this place right here, that's a Hertz. But it used to be a French restaurant way back in the day. I would go there in the 80s. Now it's a Hertz rental car, Hertz Donuts. You want a Hertz Donut? Malibu Beach Inn. Very cool place with very cool people. Aren't you? This is the Malibu Pier. All kinds of touristy things to do if you want to do that. We just like going out to the end, check out the view, look at the waves. This is the Adamson House, otherwise known as the Malibu Lagoon Museum and the place where Kathy and I got married back in 1996. There used to be a Chumash boat in here, but now those are historic tables from the Adamson House. Original tile. The chances are these lights are. This used to all be underwater a long time ago. Pretty much back when the Indians were here. No, this was a boathouse. It was a boathouse. In 1996, we had the mariachi band playing over here, about 200 people. This house was built back in the 20s, the very first or second house built in Malibu, and now it's the Adamson House Museum. It's pretty extraordinary inside. Closed today, unfortunately. And this is where we had our wedding, right here. Yep. That was a scary time.
What a beautiful that is. Wow. I wouldn't want to replicate that. just walked about two and a half miles and we turned around and now we're going back again. We gotta work off those calories. trails or along the beach, you know, it's, it's a little softer. When you hike on concrete, it hurts like hell, or it can after, you know, four miles of, you know, doing, I don't know how people, you know, run marathons and things like that. My, I don't think I could do that. I think my feet would be these bloody pulpy stumps by then. Had a great time today. Really, really awesome uh, just to be able to show you guys around some of the interesting things that are in this town. And there's lots of interesting things. I mean, I probably showed you like two percent of what's going on in Malibu, but there's there's lots of other stuff. And speaking of cool stuff, this weekend, this Sunday, is Wheels and Waves. And if you have a car, I don't care what it looks like. It can, it can go upside down, it can drive backwards, it can do all kinds of really weird things. I don't really care, but you should bring it to Wheels and Waves because we're gonna have a blast because our special guest is Tony Dow from Leave it to Beaver. If you're not familiar with Tony Dow, then, then you know, you should catch up on your Netflix Leave it to Beaver, you know, nostalgia episodes because he played Wally. And he's absolutely awesome. We've had him on the vlog many times before. We've driven around with him. He's gonna be bringing his super cool black Corvair. But we're also bringing in the General Lee, flawless version of the General Lee. It's not, you know, crashed or dented or, or tweaked or contorted or pancaked or anything else. It's absolutely awesome. It's a flawless version of the General and we're gonna be having that on display. So if you wanna see some cool movie cars, if you wanna hang out with some cool actors and some nostalgic people, pop culture at its best, baby, come to Wheels and Waves best show on the planet. Okay, if you're new to the blog and uh, and you uh, joined us for the first time here, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. We have a great time here. Our job, as you know, is to help you improve your life through what you love. Whatever it is you love, you have to incorporate that. more of that. Into See, the dogs are going nuts because they love this so much. <laughs>